Was there a human fingerprint on Sandy? Can you say how much climate change uh, contributed to the ferocity and the intensity of Sandy? Well, there's a human fingerprint in several ways. Um, the ocean was unusually warm uh, along the eastern seaboard, and it was warmer by more than the global average. So people are saying, oh, you can only credit one quarter of that to global warming. Well, the warming, it's like these extreme events that we're getting, we're getting them much more frequently. Of course, you can't say where and when they're going to be, but if you just, as I say, the climate dice are now loaded, and they're loaded in such a way that not only do we get more unusually warm seasons, but those which are most extreme are much more frequent than they used to be. So this, this warm patch of water, I would say we, you would not have had, unlikely that you would have had such extreme warming without this global warming underneath that. So that's one thing, but in addition, the global warming makes more water vapor in the atmosphere, which makes the rainfall heavier and the floods uh, greater. Uh, so there is a connection with uh, global warming, even though, as scientists always like to say, well, you can't blame a single event and connect that in a, in a simple way to global warming, but the frequency and extreme an extreme extremity of those events, you can connect to global warming in a very straightforward way. Because I'd heard from some people that, that hurricanes was where the data was less firm. Sea level rise was very good data. Uh, precipitation events, floods was very good data. But hurricanes well, is where people who are skeptics or deniers like to say, aha, not so. The, the frequency of occurrence of hurricanes is affected by many factors, not just the global temperature, but the storms that are driven by latent heat, uh, that uh, have their fuel from latent heat, and that includes hurricanes, thunderstorms, tornadoes, you have more fuel for those. So the strongest ones are going to be stronger. The number of hurricanes is, is a is, is, a diff is more difficult, and that is a matter of research. But the region in which you can possibly have hurricanes is expanding, and the seasons in which you can have, uh, Sandy was the end of October. It's very unlikely that we could have had that without um, the fact that the seasons are now getting longer. The warm season is getting longer. So what can you say about the probability of more Sandys, bigger Sandys, a bigger area of the country, the world, that, that could have something uh, like Superstorm Sandy? Well, the, the strong storms are, if we continue down this path, and I don't think we need to continue down this path, uh, we're going to have more strong storms. That's, that's clear. As I said, the, the fuel is, is uh, the latent energy that you get from uh, water vapor. The author and advocate, uh, Paul Hawken, has often said that two Category 5 storms up the I-95 corridor in one year would be a game changer for the United States, that that's when people would wake up. That's basically happened. Two yeah. large storms up yeah. the eastern seaboard yeah. in one year. Is it a game changer? Um, well, it, it could be. It does require that we put the pressure on the political system. Uh, that causes it to be a game changer. 